It's with Ian Pryor, senior advisor of America First Legal, also author of the upcoming book, Parents of the World Unite. You know, kudos to the parents in Fairfax County to bringing this to light, but I think what you're seeing here is the results of this equity agenda, which is really a participation medal agenda. You know, we as a country, we should be committed to equal opportunity for all. And that doesn't mean, you know, survival of the fittest. What that means is that the policies we enact provide equal opportunity for everybody to succeed based on their own merits. Instead, now we are moving over to this equity model where really what we're trying to do is guarantee results for everybody, regardless of effort, regardless of performance. So they don't tell the kids who did well in, in order to not offend the kids who didn't do so well. Yeah, that certainly is what it seems to be. And, you know, these are really symptoms of the bigger disease. I mean, we saw recently, obviously, here in Loudoun County, we had something that was you know, a, a side effect of the equity push where, you know, schools are focusing on all the wrong things. They're focusing on on pronouns and having school board meetings, two hour school board meetings to discuss pronoun usage while they're not addressing Title IX concerns and keeping students safe or ensuring that, that students have the, the best opportunity to learn and succeed. Here in Fairfax County, it goes right to the root of it. I mean, most of the, the equity agenda that we see, whether it's in Loudoun County or other counties in, in Virginia, comes right out of Fairfax County. Fair Fairfax County is really the origination of all of this stuff. The Senate there is taking up a couple of, of items uh, in relation to this, and I think we can put those on the screen. Uh, Bill 787 would require parental permission for students to view sensitive material. And then there's uh, 1371, which would allow vouchers to uh, use state funds to educate students outside <coughs> of public schools. So parents could actually vote with their feet if they wanted to. Well, that's absolutely right. And you're moving into a, an election year again in Virginia. It's always an election year in Virginia. And these, these state senators and House of Delegates members are going to be up for election. And they're going to have to go explain their votes on, on these very important issues. Look, I mean, school choice is one of those things where it really benefits everybody to have an education savings account where you're going to be able to take that money and you may live in a zip code that, you know, isn't going to be, uh, is going to be detrimental to your child's education, where you're going to be able to send your child somewhere else. You know, some of the other bills address student discipline. That's one of the biggest things I hear from teachers yeah. is that they have been taken away the, the opportunity to discipline their students from the administration, and it leads to, you know, morale issues with teachers, and it leads to real problems in the classroom. Ian Pryor, America First Legal. Thank you. Thanks for having me.